welcome to the channel in today's video we are going to learn how we can add ui date picker as an input into our ui text field so let's start for this tutorial we are going to create an ui text field extension that will add a uh, date picker as an input view so let's start for this i already created a file named ui text field plus u input view dot swift so if you haven't done this you can create by using new file and choose the swift file and name it ui text field plus input view now we will we will create the extension for the same so extension ui text field and import ui kit instead of ui foundation framework and here we will create function and we will name it set date picker as input view for target of type any and the selector for our done button and selector since we need one done button when user finish with selecting date and dismiss the picker here it is now let's first we need to get the width of the screen that screen width is equals to UI screen dot main dot bounce dot width and now let's create the date picker let date picker is equals to UI date picker and we will give it a frame frame say direct and say direct will be x will be 0, 0.0 y will be 0, 0.0 width will be our screen width and height will be 300 now date picker dot date picker mode that what kind of date picker you want a countdown time a date or date time time so we will select date and then we will add it to the input view so self dot input view here you can see that the custom input view to display when the text field becomes the first responder so the system will display the date picker as a custom input view when we tap on our text field so input view is equals to date picker now we also need a toolbar so that user can either cancel it or select done that he is done with the picker so let's create a toolbar let tool bar is equals to ui toolbar of type sorry of frame cg rect and cg rect will be uh, 0, 0.0 0, 0.0 width will be equals to the screen width and height will be 40.0 now we need to add two bar button items one is done and one is cancelled so say let cancel is equals to ui bar button item ui bar button item and here it is bar button system item sorry not bar button system item it should be a bar button item and here it is title title will be cancel style dot plain target self and selector will be as selector tab cancel so now implement this selector at it obgc function tab cancel and here it is now here what we will do we will resign the first responder of our text self dot resign first responder so once that text will resign its first responder this input view uh, will be gone so now let's create similarly the done button so let done is equals to ui bar button item with title 
done style dot done the target will be nail and selector will be our selector we passed as a parameter so that this done button will call the action wherever this date picker will be made as an input view for a particular class so now we will add it to our toolbar dot set items and it requires array and then we'll say cancel comma will be done animated false and lastly we will add this toolbar as an input accessory view so input accessory view to display when the text field becomes the first spawner is equals to our to bar it's also we need some space since we, if we run this app at this moment then we can see that the cancel and done will be aligned to the left so we need a space for between the cancel and done button so for this let's create a space so let flexible space is equals to ui bar button item and bar button item and bar button system type dot flexible space target will be nil and selector will be nil and here between this we will add this flexible space now let's redesign let's design our ui for this app so open main to storyboard And here, first we will change the color of to green color. And here we will drag a UI text field. UI text field, and we will align it to center of the screen. And we will give it a width and height. So width will be. 300 and height will be 50 okay so here we have our text field let us give it not width leading and trailing so that it appears nice on all devices and here it is 10 10 here you go now we will open view controller dot shift and create an ib outlet at that ib outlet txt date of type ui text field and here i miss week and war week where so now open main dot storyboard and just connect this text field and here we go now let's use this extension that we created earlier ui text field personal input view add date picker as an input view to our txt date so here in view to load you will write self dot txt date dot set date picker as input view for target will be self and selector will be has selector say date selected and here we will add add that obgc function and we will add this date selected here so here we have done with now let's run the app and see if our 
text field uh, uh, sorry our date picker appears or not so i'm running the app and let's make it and here you can see the date picker is appearing instead of a keyboard because we set date picker as an input view and we gave it a more height so let's make it of lesser height of around 200 so now if i tap cancel it goes away and text field is not a first responder so now here if what happens how or how we can select date so when user tap on date selected we will fetch the date picker and then the date format so let's say if let date picker is equals to self dot txt date dot input view as ui date picker then let's say let date for matter is equals to date for matter date for matter dot date style is equals to dot medium and here we will say self dot txt date dot text is equals to date formatter dot string from date date picker dot date otherwise if the date picker is nil we will reassign our text field self dot txt reassign txt date dot reassign first responder so now let's see and run it so here i tap on text field and you can see date picker is coming so i am changing the date and tap on done you can see feb 24 2022 again i change it then it's changed to the date i selected on date picker otherwise i can cancel it so this is a very small tutorial that tells you how you can use input view and input accessory view and show date picker as an input view to your ui text field if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to our channel then please subscribe to us as we are going to bring more tutorial on swift lastly thanks for watching bye for now